So now we begin unit four motion. This is a lot of the stuff that when um, you think of physics, you think of stuff that we do in the motion and the forces units. So hopefully this will be um, really interesting for you guys. I, I put a dancer here. This is a shout out to you dance majors. Um, so a couple of vocab words that we need to know in the motion um, unit. The first thing is a particle model, and this is just a simplified version of a motion diagram in which the object in motion is represented by a series of single points. So um, in a motion diagram, they'll have like a person running, a, a can you draw a runner, which is why we do the particle model. And so um, if the runner is speeding up, um, so we have this runner. And so instead of doing this, or like a dog or whatever, you'll draw um, dots. And this is your motion diagram instead. So you can see it's much easier to draw four dots instead of four stick figures or four cats or dogs or whatever. Um, physicists usually aren't art people. So that's why they came up with this. Um, you also need to know about graphing. I know we did it at the beginning of the year. Hopefully you've done it in a whole bunch of other classes. But um, we have to go over graphing again because um, drawing graphs in this unit will be, um, it'll be a big part of this unit. So um, the position of an object is um, the separation between the object and the origin. So you can see like this point is over two and up three, and that would be its position. Um, the distance, however, would be this distance. This actual, um, the straightest line is the shortest distance between two points kind of thing um, from the point. And so um, the distance tells you how far it is, and the position tells you exactly where it's located. The magnitude is the size. This is, um, um, let's say this line is like five. It's probably not, but we'll say it's five. The magnitude of this line would be five. Um, and we'll talk about quantities, vectors, and scalars. A scalar is a quantity that just has a number. It does not have a direction. So three meters per second. That would be a scalar quantity. That would be a speed. And then three meters per second north, that would be a vector quantity because it has um, a direction associated with it. You could also say three meters per second left, that's considered a vector. Um, so anything that has a direction component to it, just three meters per second by itself, that would be a scalar quantity. So here we are with the vectors. Um, vectors, again, I told you they have a magnitude and direction, so like three meters per second north, that would be a a vector. It's got a magnitude. This is the magnitude. And it has a direction. Um, the resultant is the vector that represents the sum of two or more um, vectors. So you remember we had that point and it was over two and up three. So it was like right here. So um, this distance that we drew, that's actually the resultant. Okay, so the resultant of um, this line right here and this line right here. Um, you would actually draw this one over here, but anyway. Um, and this would be the vector. So you can see um, this could be one and this is the other one. And then your, your resultant is right here. Okay, um, when you're drawing vectors, you always point them from the tail of one to the tip of the next one. Okay, so you can see these are always tip to tail, tip to tail, tip to tail. And um, then the result in here would be tip to tail. These are tip to tail. So you never want to draw vectors like this. That is bad vector drawing. You would want to draw, um, I'm not very good arrow drawer, you would do something like this. And then I usually put it a little bit above so I can actually see it, but you see here, they're like on top of each other. Um, since usually we don't have two colors, I'll just draw them like this. And that would be how you would draw a vector if one's going backwards. You wouldn't draw the two arrowheads touching. Um, 
frame of reference. This is uh, another really important uh, motion term. And basically, um, if you kind of think about this, what this picture is trying to show, like if you're sitting in a car, okay, and you're looking at the trees on the side of the road, the trees look like they're moving, and you look like you're standing still from your frame of reference. From the tree frame of reference, if you were a tree, they would see you moving and they would be standing still. What's really going on? Really, you're in a car and the car is moving and you're sitting in the car, so you're moving as well. Um, like this, this person right here, they're sitting in this like, clear um, truck thing and um, they're standing still, but this truck thing is moving. Okay, if the truck thing is moving this way, that person's like, oh, hold up. Um, you're moving too fast, I can't catch you. And that person's saying, oh no, I'm not moving at all. So when you're in a car, you know that you're moving and, um, and that the car is moving and that's causing the trees to look like um, they're moving so you don't actually think the trees are moving um, because you know better.